boom, boom, chugga like a boom, boom, boom. It was a day like this. We were getting on a plane, adventures on a quest to do the safari thing. The weather started getting rough, the plane was going down We crashed into the jungle where there's no help to be found We're in the wild kingdom now Venture is in store We're in the wild kingdom Exploring with the Lord We're in the wild kingdom now Adventure is in store We're in the wild kingdom Exploring with the Lord Hi gang, welcome back to Kid Venture Where we're learning how to live on the wild side This month we've been learning how to cross train by doing the habits that keep us to grow in our faith. Some people think that cross training is about working out, but it's more than that. Cross training is about following Jesus and doing things his way. It's like it says in our theme verse, Mark 8:34. If any of you wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way. Take up your cross and follow me. One of the ways we follow Jesus is by taking action steps that help us grow. What does that mean exactly? Well, if you want to become a really good baseball player, you practice the skills of baseball skills like catching and batting and throwing and playing with others. In the same way, if you want to be a follower of Jesus, you need to do the skills that help you grow. That's what we've been talking about this month. I bet you remember a bunch of skills. When I give you a clue, I want you to shout out the answer. Okay, here we go. First clue. This is a habit we do with God's Word, the Bible. Right, we read it. We want to read it to learn from the Bible because every word's from God. And it's how he gives us instructions. Okay, second clue. This habit is about something we do to talk to God. Yeah, pray it. God gave us a way to talk to him morning, noon, and night. I'm sure glad too, because I need to talk to God all the time. Okay, last one. This habit's about practicing to obey God and our parents. Do you remember that one? Exactly, live it. Obeying isn't easy, but it's a way to put our faith into action. Now everybody go ahead and say, read it, pray it, live it. Read it, pray it, live it. These are great ways. These are ways we help grow ourselves. Let's keep on going. Then we learned about some habits we do for our team. Remember a team is made of people in God's family, like our friends and our leaders at KidVenture. So here's the first one. This habit is how we should feel about our team. Remember? Yeah, you want to love them. We should love them with all of our hearts and we should show love through our actions. Here's the next one. This habit is about encouraging our teammates to help them on the right track to follow Jesus. Do you remember what it was? Right, push them. Yeah, just like a cowboy will use a spur to get the horse moving. Sometimes we have to push our teammates to keep them going. Okay, there's one more habit that could be useful on a sports team, just like it's on God's team. Our team will play better if we're all growing in our skills. So it's not enough for you just to do the habits that help you grow. You need to do this too. Right, you need to grow them. You may not be the coach, but you can help your team, like practicing the ball back and forth, giving suggestions, encourage them. So everybody say, love them, push them, and grow them. Love them, push them, grow them. Look at that, you have three skills to help you grow. Read it, pray it, live it, and you have three skills to help your team. You're gonna love them, you're gonna push them, and you're gonna grow them. Today we're gonna learn some more skills to help us in our cross training and grow in our faith. These are skills we do for our coach. I know it seems really strange because God's our coach. But yep, it's true. I can't wait to hear about them. And it's about time to get up and praise the Lord. So if you're ready to praise, everybody say, let's praise him. Let's praise him. Great job. Let's do this.
Hey everybody, welcome to Kidventure. I'm Coach Baker and I'm here to help us learn some more today. It's been so great walking on the wild side with you, learning the habits that help us grow in our faith. That's what cross training is all about. We may start out as spiritual babies, but we aren't supposed to stay that way. We are to grow in our faith and grow closer to God. So far, we have learned three habits that help us individually grow in our faith. Read it, pray it, and live it. When you read your Bible, pray to God, and obey God and your parents, it's like spiritual exercise. You'll be getting stronger and stronger. And you'll really start growing in your faith. Those are three habits that will help you grow. And then we learned three habits that you can do to help your team grow in faith. Love them, push them, and help them grow. You may not be the coach, but you can help, help other kids on your team get better and better by helping them practice those habits too. It's amazing the difference it will make when you care for your team. It helps them grow so fast. Today, we're gonna to learn two more habits. We learned habits for us, habits for our team, and now we'll learn habits for our coach. And they are super easy to do. I'll tell you what they are, and then we'll talk about them. Everybody say, thanks and praise. Thanks and praise. Good job. And I'm sure you guys already have an idea what these are because we do them all the time. But these are habits that can help bring us closer to God. Listen to what King David said about these two habits in Psalm 6930, where it says, I will praise God's name with singing, and I will honor him with thanksgiving. Wow, that's pretty cool. This verse gives us some great clues right off the bat. Ha, get it, bat, right off the bat. Ha, 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 ha. How did he praise in this verse? He praised with singing, just like we do on Sundays in Kid Venture. Do you know when you're jumping around and doing all that singing, you're praising God? That's cool. Now, his songs were probably different from ours, but that's okay. It's the same idea, and God loves it. And then he honored God with what? Right, with thanksgiving. That's a long kind of word. If we just want to know what it means, just switch the first part to the back and the back part to the front. Put thanks second and giving first. And what does it say now? Right, giving thanks. David was singing his praise and giving a big thank you to God. It just so happens we have just come through a holiday of the same name. Thanksgiving or giving thanks is a holiday that we remember to say thank you to God for all the awesome things he's done for us. We say thank you for the food he gives us, our family, our friends, the places we live. And why would we do that? Well, James 1.17 tells us why. Because every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father. If something good has happened to you, it's from God. What's the right thing to do when someone gives you a gift? What do you think? Right, you say thank you. But this is where that habit part comes in of giving thanks. We, as people, don't always naturally think about giving thanks. Sometimes we get stuck in our own little world and don't remember to think about the good things that God has done for us, even the simple things. And he's done so much. One man in the Bible named Asaph put it in Psalm 77, 11, I recall all that you have done, O Lord. I remember your wonderful deeds of long ago. Right, because it's not just now and yesterday, but God has blessed us forever. Before we can honor God with a big thank you, though, we have to remember. We have to think about it. We have to know and remember what God has done for us so that we can bring our thanks to him. Everybody say, it's not just November we need to remember. It's not just November we need to remember. Nice. Now everybody say, be ready and willing to bring your thanksgiving. Be ready and willing to bring your thanksgiving. thanksgiving. Good job. Okay. Now let's talk about praise. At first, praise and thanks seem very much alike. We can praise God and we can thank God. So what's the difference? Well, here's a phrase that helped me remember the difference. 
We praise God for who he is, and we thank God for what he gives. Right? A little bit different. God is our creator, our maker, and our savior. We can praise him for who he is to us. We can praise him that he's good to us. We can say it with words, we can sing it in a song, or we can play it with an instrument. We can even think it in our heads. Psalm 150 tells us some examples. Praise him with a trumpet. That's a loud, crazy noise. Praise him with the harp. Praise him with the tambourine and dancing. Praise him with stringed instruments like a guitar or violin and flutes. Praise him with a clash of cymbals. Let everything that lives sing praises to the Lord. That would be a noisy praise and God would love every second of it. See, praise God with a quiet prayer in your heart. Or you can praise God loud and crazy like crashing cymbals and dancing and leaping. And God is so incredible that it's hard to have quiet praise because it starts to bubble up out of your heart when you think of all he's done for you. And it's, then it comes out of your mouth. And a lot of times it turns into a song. Like it says in Psalm 40, he has given me a new song to sing. Sometimes you can't help but sing. Now, everybody sing this one. God is so awesome. God is so awesome. Good job. You just praise the Lord. You praised him for who he is. Everybody sing, God loves us so much. God loves us so much. Nice job. In lots of ways, our praise and thanks to God is our gift to him because he doesn't need anything else. But he does something for us when we do. He tunes our heart to sound like his. Some days we may be grumpy and not very happy. But when we thank him or praise him, God starts to change our hearts and he gives us joy. Here's one last verse from Psalm 89, 15. Happy are those who hear the joyful call to worship, for they will walk in the light of your presence, Lord. He makes us happier. When we think about all that God has done for us, it makes us just more joyful. We get to live in his presence, which means close to God. That is so cool. Okay, just to make sure you were listening, what are the two, two habits we do for God as our coach? Do you remember? Right. Praise and thanks. Great job. Let's pray. Dear God, you are amazing. We praise you because you are just the person who made us exactly the way we are and you love us like no one else could possibly ever love us. Thank you, Lord, for all that you give us. Thank you for every daily provision and the way you love us. And Lord, help protect us this week again as we go into your, the world for you. Amen. Nice job. See you guys. And go Mariners.